So we are doing this video now um, as a continuous of our Malongai. It was somehow live streamed before and we just noticed that a lot of people had interest in uh, planting Malongai trees in Japan. Okay guys, so I will, before I continue, I'd just like to invite you to uh, subscribe for us and uh, if you're interested in a um, lot of experiments about planting trees in Japan and um, what kind of trees, I did a lot of experiments like uh, planting, I told you, olives, I also plant walnuts, uh, it's just really new, I didn't know that so many people would be interested, so I really like to share my knowledge and my experiment um, about planting uh, some species from overseas in, in, in Japan. And if you're interested, uh, just comment down below what kind of uh, tree you like me to publish, if it's a walnut, if it's uh, olive, if it's avocado. Um, there are so many things we can do. But as, na as for now, this video uh, has been about Malongai because as you know uh, my wife is from philippines and uh, we really love pinoy food and malungai leaves is a must have to cook tinola and you cannot find fresh malungai leaves in japan so we used to have our tinola without malungai which is very sad and we also know that malungai has so much benefit for your health so we are also concerned with uh, healthy food and healthy food um, is by plant, by veggie veggies. We know that and there's so many plants in the world, but this Malong guys has been something incredible. And you can look uh, all the benefit on Wikipedia. You will be amazed that how come there is so much good thing in simple leaf of a tree. So what we did before, uh, we just order it from, you know, online um, I was really wondering how can I find uh, malongai plants in in Japan and will it go I believe it will because it's really hot here also and uh, the only thing is the winter can it pass the winter we still don't know but I research and on internet I find that somehow they were selling malongai um, plants trees on Amazon so I ordered it on Amazon and it was displayed in my previous video um, it came in a small bottle, uh, very, very thin stems, and somehow um, we managed to plant them, one in the backyard, one in a pot, we did different uh, locations to give them more chance to survive, and I planted during the rainy season, which means we have a lot of water. I guess it should be fine, it would be fine, but the reality is it didn't make it. It has been one month and um, they virtually completely disappear. Uh, they dried out. So what they were selling online is really weak. I've been planting so many trees. Usually uh, if you order trees, you will get um, like grown up for one or two years in the plant shop before they sell it to you and this one just looked like a newly sprout um, seeds so i told myself why not instead of uh, since it didn't work why not try from seeds directly uh, especially i have a lot of experience on planting trees from the seed and i before on different research on different plants because uh, before I really want to plant a lot of olive trees in Japan. And my question was, how can I, olive trees are very expensive. They sell it online, a tiny tree is 2,000 yen, a uh, medium size is 5,000 yen. I really cannot invest such. So I researched myself, how will I uh, plant trees, uh, olive trees in Japan without spending a lot of money. And I came up with a really good technique that I, find by myself, maybe some other people find it, uh, uh, also I didn't, uh, it's just by chance, I don't know if it has been published, I created that, what I call the plant nursery. Basically it's not something very uh, complicated, it's just an, a mini greenhouse that I create from scrap wood. I was explaining, we will get it from seeds. So and again, we can find everything on Amazon. I was shocked, I find seeds on Amazon. 
and it just came in a small package like that you can see so it's even written in japanese in japanese they call it moringa moringa no tane okay can you see it so i have 20 seeds i guess it should be enough let's see if we can get 20 plants of that if i can i will be really lucky so here will be the nursery so we will explain you what's about the nursery technique i'll show you Okay, so we will continue with the plant nursery. So as I told you, I just call it nursery. It's a simple uh, vinyl house. And um, we want to plant the malongai. However, there is still some previous experiments of plant inside. It has been abandoned in the garden for mostly one year. And everybody is alive inside. I didn't almost care of it. I, I Virtually, I didn't even put... Uh, water them because the water is just staying there and as you can see it's really alive so what we have in there is just uh, lemons lemons uh, from seeds that i just eat you know we just put it put it there and it will sprout i also have some comfort trees because we have a big comfort trees here tree here and uh, i just gather the seeds and plant them there it also sprouts so virtually everything will sprout in such an environment because it's 100 percent humidity and uh, you don't need to mind much about it and it also can be used to do uh, plant cutting it's how i obtain all my olive trees here uh, i create all those olive trees from cutting using this technique so what i will do for my malongai i will just remove all of those Trees. We will give them a chance, we just plant them in a pot and um, we will replace the soil. So the soil is important. I'm not using um, normal soil, it's what we call I don't even know how does it read. It's kind of artificial soil so in japan they call it karuishi i don't know the name you can find that in every home center what's good on that it's purely um, artificial and free of bacteria fungus um, that could contaminate your plant now you see it's very contaminated with so many um moist slugs even insects so this is not appropriate to new plants they will get disease they will get uh, so we will just clean everything we will replace the plastic also so i use that kind of plastic film to make a new film we put new soil and we will just put our seeds and wait for it to sprout and i believe it will sprout very fast so see you after when i'm done with that okay so we have our uh, seeds now i prepare the nursery with new film new soil okay so all is uh, without any bacteria any bad plants so this and is the soil this is the soil that we will soil. use mm. we produce all those trees so all those trees are born into this substrate it's very good and you can easily transplant mm -hmm. the plant it will come with the roots uh i should have shoot that <laughs> when i okay, remove so the other one. we're gonna use this to plant the malongai because it will spend uh one year of its life in this nursery mm -hmm. before being transplanted like those trees so those three were on the video a while have been all transplanted into pot into real soil already mm. then it can be transplanted and planted in the ground once they have their roots mm. spreading out in the soil okay. so it's like uh, this nursery is a step to increase the probability of your seeds to grow as grown trees i have a success rate 
incredibly high with this technique. Okay. So, so I don't again. know if it will work with the Malungaya, but it worked for olives, it worked for uh, um, all kinds of lemons and orange and uh, all kinds of uh, fruit trees. So let's see. So this so is what I once get. Once again, what is your... So this is Malungai. It's brewed in Japan. They call it Moringa. Can you open it there? Yeah. Um, and let's see what, how does it look like? So because I've never heard about Malungai seeds. So oh. it has a small, small wings. I believe... Let's see. Should I... Um, so I, I think I know it already because we we found uh we can find um big seed yeah it's in the, the big tree. big uh, bin it's ah, a big bin okay. and inside this bin you can find this seed okay so let's um i don't think it uh can be removed furthermore these are all my seeds What will we do with 23 if we really have, have them all? So you need to scatter them? Yeah, of course, scatter the them. Seeds. It will be easier to not damage one when you remove the other one. What will happen if you... Mm. If you did not prevent, like for example, you have that one at the same time? Mm. It would happen that when you want to get it out, mm the roots of one will be mingled with the other one so it will end up like that this i have one tree one tree one tree but those one i couldn't separate I couldn't them so they are all there is four trees in the same because if i separate them i will damage their roots this mm -hmm. i don't mind i had so many seeds of lemon because it's just what come from what we eat i, I don't mind i don't buy them i don't so all the seed i had i just throw it inside and it sprouts that's why I have, I don't know what to do with my lemon tree. I have so many of them. By the way, if you were asking about this, it's a mosquito yeah. killer. <laughs> it's a repellent for mosquito. It's the only really efficient one because the spray that you will put on your skin here, you can see I'm sweating so much with the humidity. It will just vanish as you sweat. As fast as you sweat. So you need to put it all the time. So I wanted to balance them very good, but somehow I didn't manage. <laughs> I should have gone. Okay, so I just buried just a little bit under the surface. Uh, not too much. Can you use the left hand? Like that. So you're burying it? Yes. It shouldn't be appearing. No, just just a little face. bit. Just deep enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, so obviously the last step is to water the plants. Uh, this will really absorb a lot of water. So we will just uh, gently pour water on these things until it absorbs the water and it will like, keep the water for long so you can hear it it really make a shh, a fizzing fizzing noise So I put two liter already, it's really not enough. So two liter was not enough, so I fill again my recipient here and I will put more. So what will happen? This this little fancy stone will ah so water is pouring out already, so which means it's more than enough. Okay. If you see that water is pouring out. It should be stopped right away. Mm. Okay. 
So that's the sign, okay? Okay, so you see it changed color. Then what we will do, we will just place the cover. So with this cover, it's literally hermetically closed, completely closed from all uh, insects and uh, it's closed and it's still from insects and from air from the outside. So the moisture, it will get 100% content moisture inside, which is very good for the seeds to sprout. Mm. And usually I will not even have to add water for, at, at the very beginning I need to adjust the humidity, it, it will circulate. So maybe I will add a little, if my stone is drying on the surface, I will add my water. If my stone doesn't dry, it still has this wet aspect, I don't need to add water anymore. It will do condensation inside. and. We, know, we need to wait for the seeds to sprout. Once it sprouts, let's keep them growing at least one year inside okay. before transferring them into pot. So I place the seed in the plant incub incubator. It's today, uh, July 21. Let's see how long it will take for the seed to sprout. Once it sprouts, we will continue this video. We transfer the nursery into a good place with sunlight but not all the day and uh, wait for it to sprout. sprout. So we need to go, when I go by the house. Yeah, no, so at the back. We need to get. <laughs> Can you make it? It's so small there. 